Hey guys, it's Karen here. Um, it's been about four and a half years since my jaw surgery. Thought I'd do a little update. My uh, double jaw surgery was uh, April 11, 2012. Today is October 6, 2016. Um, not much has changed since my jaw surgery, but I just wanted to do a little update because nobody really updates this far from post-op, I guess. Um, if you didn't watch my videos before, I did have double jaw surgery. They moved my bottom jaw back seven millimeters. They moved my top jaw forward uh, six millimeters. It was about uh, six weeks, okay, probably about eight weeks on a soft liquid diet. Lost about 15, 20 pounds. That was amazing, yeah. And then I did soft foods for about two weeks after that because I literally ate like, I want to say macaroni and cheese for my first meal as like, you know, I can eat again. And my jaw was so sore that I couldn't even open the dang thing for like a whole week. So yeah, that was awful. Um, as far as uh, healing, I'm pretty much all healed up. Nothing to complain about. I have um, some numbness that never went away. It's right here. It's not bad. I can still feel most of my face, but it's just kind of has like, um, I would say it's actually more sensitive than the rest of my face. So if I'm like scratching like this, like barely touching, it feels like I'm like clawing my face. So yeah, all right here and into my nose. But if that's the worst that comes out of it, then that's the worst that comes out of it. Um, my teeth haven't changed much. Uh, they're still straight. I wear my retainer every night. Um, I don't think I probably don't have to now, but I don't ever want braces again. So I'm wearing that dang thing. I have a permanent retainer on the bottom, underneath there, on the back. Um... My bite is pretty much the same. When I got my braces off, my bite was like really tight. Like my bottom teeth and my top teeth were really like pushing. Like my my bottom teeth were really pushing onto my top teeth. <clears throat> and within the course of probably a year and a half, my jaw settled. Um, I went back to the orthodontist recently and they said that my jaw has settled. Um, so to actually get my bottom teeth tucked back under my top teeth, I'd have to have braces again for about two years, they said. I think it's freaking ridiculous. I'm not doing that. I mean, so with my jaw settling, um, it hasn't shifted anywhere. I'll, I'll get close in a second. Um, it basically has become an open bite, which is, is fine. You really can't tell unless you're like really close and People's smiles are so like horrible and good and horrible that you can't even tell like who has the right smile, who has a not right smile. So mine's technically an open bite. I'll show you now. So yeah, but it's not worth getting surgery again or braces again to me. I'm 33 years old. I don't need to be doing that. So I had adult braces once. That was enough. <laughs> so yeah, if you have any questions about the whole process, just let me know um, in the comments. I'll try to answer them for you. I was gonna attempt to make some more videos on YouTube. I don't know about what really, but yeah. So I'm happy with the results. I would recommend it to anybody if you're nervous about the surgery. Um, I'm going to be polite and say don't be nervous. But I'm telling you right now, it is scary as hell. I woke up, I didn't even recognize me. My mom came into the thing. She was crying. She didn't recognize me. My surgery was supposed to be like six hours. It was ended up being like ten and a half hours. I got really sick after. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's not an easy, easy thing to do. 
Is it worth it? Absolutely. I mean, look at before I was like, and that's not fun. So that actually hurts to do. <laughs> but yeah, any questions, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, you want to see more videos from me, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and uh, we'll see you. All right. See ya. Bye.